You ever find yourself going along life's path and everything is great and then suddenly, boom, something happens and it just destroys you. When we're in the Lord's hands, we think he's going to take care of it. It's great. But then when that happens, it's like, where's God now? When we do it ourselves, it's everybody else's fault but us. Let's talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I should say a kid when I was a teenager really, there was a song out by Eric Burton and the Animals called Sky Pilot. Love that song. I couldn't tell you what the lyrics are except for the Sky Pilot. It was just, you know, it just reminded me of God in charge. He's my Sky Pilot. And of course you've seen the bumper stickers, God is my co-pilot and that, but no, he's my pilot. And when we give ourselves to the Lord, when we ask him to direct our lives and he takes us down a path that he has us on and we're going in the direction we need to be going and then something happens, Again, what happens? What do we say? Where's God now? Where is he? Has he forsaken me? I mean, think of Job. Has he forsaken me? No, he hasn't. He has given us a pathway, but it's almost like one of these maps or things you would have on your car. It's going to take you around all the accidents, all around the construction. And it's going to get you to your destination when you're supposed to get there and on time, and it'll get you there quicker. Uh, you may not think it's going to be that way. But that's the same thing with life. God has his plan in our life. And when we turn ourselves over to him and ask him for his guidance, we get that. And so when things happen, it's, it's easy to say, where are you now? But it's the wise thing to say, Lord, you're in control. I, I've handed it over to you. I know you have my life planned out, and I know that I'm in your hands. Over in Proverbs 19.21, the Bible tells us, Many are the plans in a person's heart but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And that happens, especially when we give our lives to him and when we ask him into our heart, but when we ask him to take control, when we ask him to direct our paths, when we ask him to direct our lives. You may get off someplace that we can't figure out where it's going, but it's always on time and where we're supposed to be. So please take that with you today. Uh, I have really felt strong about this this morning. I would heard the song Sky Pilot and it just it just rang true with me again. I said, oh, the Lord is my sky pilot. He has me flying in his plane. And the same thing, I just take another example. And you're on an airplane, you depend on that pilot to get you there. I mean, you're just putting all your faith in him to get there. Same thing when you get on a train, you want the engineer to get you there. Same thing with life. When we turn it over to the Lord, we're depending on him to get us there. And he does every time. I hope that inspires you, and I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless everyone, and have a wonderful day.